I have a very cheap made in China replica of a vintage phone here. It caught my eye, but it's a bit boring. So I want to alter it, I want to detail it, and I want to make it look more interesting. Now I will also have a second piece I altered to show you towards the end of the video. Now here on the phone, for starters, I will take off this uh, dial piece here because I'm hoping to replace it later on in a way that it can turn. So from here on, I will be adding all kinds of things from my stash. And in the beginning, I will show you step by step what I'm using. Then at some point, I will jump ahead a little bit. As you could see, I took away the rope because it was too short and I will replace it with something more suitable. Now, just recently, I finally figured out a better camera angle so my head wouldn't get in the way, but now I'm slipping out of screen here on the bottom. Now, I will try to avoid that in the future by masking out my desk a bit better, but for today, I had to cut a few bits and pieces here and there because you couldn't see anything, but you also didn't miss anything important. But it might look just a little bit choppy here and there. So sorry. Anyway, I added two pieces of lace using my tacky glue and then I'm cutting out two circles from fly screen and I want to add them to the ends of this handle and that was a little tough because it's a bit bent so after adding my E6000 I had to basically hold it on there in order for it to stick. Now from here on I will be using some items from my handyman drawer like this round piece. I have no clue what it was originally but it has some interesting indentations and then I found another ring which fit perfectly the other side. Now the glue takes a little time to set and so I weighed down this piece a couple of times actually to make sure all the pieces were stuck securely before continuing. So while the handle is drying, I work on the big piece and I add a piece of chain. Now I have quite a few pieces of chain in my stash and this was a great project to use up at least some of it. Now next I want to do a tiny bit of painting because I want to bring out these numbers. You can see them uh, but not very clearly. So this white paint I push all the way into the crevices and then wipe off the excess with the wet wipe and that brings out the numbers much more clearly. I will touch up some of the black later on. So next a bit more chain here and there and then I think there's only one more piece I want to explain before I turn you over to some music. Now once in a while I recycled some of my art and this half spring was from another project and that's the reason it's already painted and has that little teal bead in the middle. But it fits just perfectly on this part of this handle and again this has to dry. So from here on I believe everything is very easy to follow. Anything you need to know will be in the captions and I will talk to you towards the end. Enjoy!
And that was the last step. And here is my completed foam from all sides. I like the darker colors, you know me. Now I did add some black off camera here to the beads, the dial, the nut in the middle, the screen and also the spring. I thought it would bring it out a bit more. I love how the spring moves. I like the new wire or rope. Uh, the lighter colors to me fit much better and of course it had to be longer. It just wasn't fitting right before. And I'm happy that the dial works as well. Now I told you in the beginning that I had a second piece and I decorated it very similar to this one. And I have a photo here so you can see what I started with. And yes, it's a typewriter. Again, one of those made in China little lost pieces I found in a thrift store. Again, it's not ugly, but a bit boring. So here is a little clip of what it looked like after I decorated it with similar items I used on the phone, including some lace, some push buttons, some beads, some little uh, metal this and that chain. I even used some stickers like you can see here on the back on the top. And here in the front I used more stickers. That's something I use very rarely but I didn't want to interfere with the shape too much. So I used alpha stickers for the word dragonfly and some more on the roll. But for the rest I used again broken pieces of jewelry and a few charms. You can see some cut apart rings and bracelets. There's a rose design and the word wish. There is a 2020 and a little emblem that says made with love. There are some bling pieces, there's a star, some music notes. And I didn't touch the keyboard except the really big piece here on the bottom with a bit of lace, some more beads, some more designs here on the front. And then of course I covered everything in black gesso and colored it. And here's the way it looks now. And I'm happy to say that actually those stickers worked out really well. I of course uh, added some glue to the sticky side to make sure they really uh, stayed down and they gave a very subtle but nice texture. And now for this I started with my white off metallic acrylic paint and then my waxes. Now at the end the colors are actually very similar to the one on the phone and it just shows you that it doesn't really matter what mediums you use. Use whatever you have on hand. Now when I was done coloring I added some unpainted items like this pretty dragonfly with a teal stone, some small teal stones here on the top and a second dragonfly. This one came from a broken earring. The big one came from a necklace. Now as you can see I didn't overload this but I really like the texture that lace gave on the sides and I think it's enough decorations to make this look a bit more complete. So here are both of my pieces side by side. I'm very happy with the way they look now. And I hope you had fun watching me work on these. Maybe you have some things at home, either decorations you had for too long and you would like to give them a new look. Or maybe you find something cheaply that just needs a bit of loving touch to make it more attractive. Give it a try. It's a lot of fun and you can turn all kinds of things into very wonderful and unique and one-of-a-kind decorations. Well, I'm glad I got this little wheel to work. And here on the typewriter I did not add anything dangly, which I usually do because I felt it was just fine the way it is. So I want to thank you for coming. I hope I get to see you really soon again. Please be safe. Until then, bye bye for now. <laughs>